right there. <laughs> That's the bottom line. talking to public second of all like I was busy enjoying myself so I didn't want to talk to the camera but yeah about to give you some food at the last airport in Denver it is and then we're getting back to Arizona so yeah let's go do this shuttle to get here and I can get back to the van and figure out where I'm gonna stay tonight <laughs> so yeah all right so I'm back I made it finally <laughs> uh, not gonna lie I still wish I was in Texas but you know gotta come back and handle some things um, plus I already had some plans here, so I'm going to go do those plans first before we move forward to anything else. But uh, yeah, we're going to start up the van and see how she goes from sitting for a few days. And then I'm going to find a spot to figure things out because <laughs> uh, I do have a place to be at. But I'm going to wait until the morning to get there uh, so I can like see my whole area, my environment. And uh, yeah, so tonight I need to go by the store and then find a place to stay for the night before I head to my next destination. So yeah, thank you all for sticking with me. Um, like I said, because those other videos were really short because like I didn't really talk on the camera. I was just too into the moment, into being there and everything that um, like I don't want to pull out the camera and record. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thank you for sticking with me through that. Um, Moving forward, I will do that more though because if I am going to vlog, I do want to do that. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to be looking up a place to go. So hopefully, we can find one pretty close. Here we go. I was at Walmart and it was pretty sketchy. There's a lot of like homeless people or just sketchy people around there. And they didn't have a good selection of food and it was like really expensive, which is crazy. But um, and my theory on that, because back home I've seen that before in different neighborhoods, it would be more expensive at different grocery stores. And it's usually the neighborhoods that are very like poverty stricken and stuff. My theory is that it's because they get EBT and so the store is making like extra money because of them using EBT so either way they're gonna make money so they're jacking up the price um, but yeah that's my theory <laughs> anyway so yeah I was at that Walmart I got a few things that I needed um, hopefully that will last me for this week or at least you know for a good amount of the days of the week because obviously I'm back in Arizona and if any of you out there know about van dwelling and meetups and stuff you know that there's a huge gathering going on right now 
And yes, I'm going to be attending it for a few days. Um, that was a plan from the start, but uh, I got cut short of my trip that I just got back from. And uh, so yeah, I mean, I wasn't even, I wasn't sure if I was going to stay the whole time anyway. But yeah, so I'm going to go out here for a few days. Um, I am debating right now whether or not I'm going to drive all the way to Quartzsite tonight or if I'm just going to go uh, like halfway there or something and find a place to pull off and park uh, to sleep for a little while before I head out there because it's obviously it's dark right now so I wouldn't be able to really see uh, parking places and I, I know some people who are going to be out there that I want to go uh, chill with so I wouldn't be able to find them tonight anyway but yeah so I'm trying to debate and see if I'm going to go all the way out there now and just park in a random spot and then get up in the morning and find everyone or just wait till the morning to go out there so that's what's going on right now I'm trying to figure that out but in the meantime I'm gonna eat me something and we're gonna see what happens I can't I just pulled into uh, this store can't overnight here or anything but I'm just gathering my thoughts together to find a place to stay for tonight so we'll see what happens and I will let you know in a few seconds I guess here we go yeah, it doesn't look like there's any uh, overnight parking anywhere near here so I'm gonna have to head to some BLM land uh, the one that I found that I want to go to is about 45 minutes away from here. So, yeah, you know, it's pretty late right now. Um, it's almost 12. So, yeah, it's like a late drive, but it's all good. I'm going to play some music and I'll be good. I'll be in my zone. Um, but, yeah, it's like halfway to a court site. So, that puts me in a good place for tomorrow, which is great. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see what happens. So, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow.